All right, guys, welcome to Rector's Ridge. This will more than likely be the first video I've ever done. I wish I would have started this five, six years ago when I bought this place. This channel is going to be about me and my family and our farm up here in northeast Mississippi. The reason we call it Rector's Ridge is it sits up on a high flat spot probably the high spot around and it drops off on every side into some pretty nice hardwood bottoms. We'll show you a little bit of the farm right now. Got a big field out here we dove and deer hunt on. Keep a few cows and goats. And of course we got some farm farm animals, chickens and cats. You got my littlest boy hammer. That's what we call him anyway. We got a little project. We're gonna put up some deer stands today. We're gonna put up some blinds. Youth season starts in about seven, eight days here in Mississippi. Gotta get these boys ready to go. Y'all come on along with us and see what we're gonna get into. First project today. Putting our ground blinds back up. Typically for a quick hunt after school, or if we got something to do. We've had several kids give their first deer right off the backyard into the little three acre deer field we got. We got to do some renovation to our blind. We took it down in the spring. Somehow I got a bunch of damage to it, some broke poles and stakes. We're going to stake her down for y'all. All right, guys, what we're doing here, we get some pretty good winds and storms here in the south in the winter. Made a mistake before of not staking these things. So we're going to, we're just going to simply stake these things in case one of these warm days storms get upon us. using paracord and blow up stakes, blow up toys. All right, come here, ham man. Too, too tight. Get that the most important part. I mean, not that low. Silly. Silly boy. Keep mixing. So good. Finish it. Look at that brown dirt spot on top. Try to hit it. We're down low. Yeah. Well, this is what we got. I planted this Egyptian wheat this summer. You can see most of it's laid down. We've had some heavy rains and wheat, rains and wind, but it gives us some pretty good cover. We've got a good wheat, rye grain, clover, winter peas, and turnips. These turnips have really taken off and smothered out. I think I planted too many of them. Won't have any any bulbs yet. So it's my experience with turnips. The deer don't start using them until a good frost. Maybe a little later in the year before they start using our field. 
but we'll see. Alright, we got the first one put up. We got one more to go. And we're gonna hang the lock on or two. Here's a better look at the field. Of course, no field's complete without a feeder. Go down to the bottom I was telling you guys about. Got about 12 acres up top, 35, 36 down in the bottom. This is a little flat before you get down to the bottom gravel pit. We've got to decide where we want to put this. Put this little jewel. some walking around and got my little helper with me we're gonna do some walking around and seeing what we want where we want to put this thing yeah this is a trail we made several years ago and honestly I thought about putting this blind up here on the top side I thought about putting me a feeder down here in the bottom and watching this flat Got a pretty good backdrop right here. Can keep stuff behind me. Not quite as flat as I would like, but I can watch this whole big bottom down here. And when the leaves finish falling, I'm about putting it right here. certainly an option <coughs> certainly an option and we brought our saws if we wanted to knock some of this stuff down we could tuck in here I just can't decide what's my best option I mean, you got a lot of options and you're always second guessing what you want to do. Show a pretty bottom. See a pretty steep drop off. But I do believe them deer will travel it to get up here to this field. And I know they'll travel it if I put some corn out. We're going to give this a consideration, a really good consideration. And guys, I'm showing you guys a lot. But this is a road that goes down all the way through our bottom. The bottom I was just showing y'all that we're thinking about putting a feeder and a stand is right in there. my feeder down this lane and put my blind up in here oh shed somebody had but I thought about putting my blind up in here of course you can't see much that way I feel like them deer will get behind us I got a ladder stand at the end of that lane I don't know if you guys can see it feeder right there. Hammer, where do you think we ought to put it? Huh? Where do you think we ought to put it? Why are we facing this way? He said he don't know.
Oh, you know what? Oh, that way and that way. Oh, this way, this way. Oh, this way, this way. Oh, this way, this way. All right, guys. <laughs> Pretty cool. My little boy always looks for bugs and critters. And he flipped over these two wooden tuba twelves that we use. We got a little baby snake, and he's balled up. He's got a yellow line around his neck, green neck. We're gonna try to scoop him up in this jug. Take him home and see what we're going to do with him. I don't think that's a poison snake. Hammer, hold the, hold the camera at the snake. Make sure you can see him right here. Look, there's your screen, okay? I can barely see. I can see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a little baby snake. Yeah, that's all we have was a cup. We're going to see what kind of snake that was. That a boy. I you know, found him a pet snake. If y'all don't know, we just let go two turtles this morning because it was winter time. Now we got us a pet snake. I don't know if mama will let us keep a pet snake. We'll see. All right, guys, we did decide to put our blind over here. We're going to watch this draw. I showed you a while ago. We'll have a good backdrop up in here. I really think we're going to like this. I think we're going to tuck it behind right here. Right here, cut that tree down, and uh, see what we can do. Guys, I'm gonna tell y'all, I bought me a toy a few months back that I have really. Oh, where do you know what those are? White oaks. Where did you find those? Right over there? That's perfect. You know what eats those? Deers. The deers, that's right. And rabbits. That's right. Anyway, bought me a toy. Whole set. I heard and heard and heard about the electrical saws and blowers. And I broke down and got me this Milwaukee M18 pole saw. I'm going to tell you guys, I don't know if I'll ever go back to get gas i guess if the job gets too big i will but it's gonna be hard for me to put this thing down all right let's clear something we'll pass that down. Oh, no, so you showing them you showing them you no this thing you acre that is broken more Well, it took a little longer than I thought, guys. All right, guys. I'm really excited about this little spot. It's a blind I've had for seven years. Not much to these things. And they've come a long ways. I got this one. Thank you. 
I would like to prove that Daddy Johnson just can ride all six because it's just wasted. Give me that hand. All right, guys, I think we're going to call that a wrap on the blind today. I really like our setup. We're going to go get the feeder, and we're going to move it down here, and we should be ready. We got the feeder set up. Show them the blind, Brian. Blind's up there. Yeah. And we're gonna like this guys. Alright, last thing we're gonna do with this spot, our new spot is put this camera and see if we can watch them. This is an old wild game innovation. But I tell you for the money, this camera's lasted longer than any other memory card camera I've had. Of course we converted to cell cameras now. Being that this is at my house, I can check it pretty often. I typically like to put these about belly high, but this one's facing downhill a little bit. What time is it? Does anybody know? I don't know. Somewhere around 3.30. Maybe 8.45. <laughs> 8.45. Maybe that. Y'all have to go get ready for your Halloween. Mm-hmm. Not me. I'm watching football. All right, that ought to get it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hopefully we can put some more stuff out and get this channel. If you like what you did, subscribe to us and watch us on the Rector's Ridge. And we'll see you next time.